I want to first start out by saying, if you're here because of the twin flame topic, that means you're searching. It means that you may have already found the person that you're putting in the category of this is my twin. It means that you might be having a wonderful relationship with your twin and you're looking for more insight. It could mean that you're in a relationship that you don't enjoy or you could be alone right now. And that most of us will come from a place of wanting change but we don't follow through and we fail and we fall off the bandwagon. That is only reminiscent of what we're doing in our life. And what does that have to do with the, the whole karmic twin and the whole twin flame situation and the soulmate situation? Well, I think that part of that is going to be reflected in how we are repeating cycles. So if you are repeating a cycle, it, is, it means that you're not acknowledging something. Like the movie Groundhog Day with uh, Bill Murray. Bill Murray kept repeating this day. If you haven't watched the movie, I encourage you to watch it. It's old, but it's super cool. He kept repeating this day, and the way he started to learn how to adapt in this day was he began to learn that if he handled things differently, he got different results. That if the salesman came up and he had more compassion, he dispelled the situation. And that he was able to learn the piano and he was able to do all these other things, and he was able to, to begin to relate more to his female lead in the movie. So repetition and cycles give us insight into ourself. So for instance, if I, like I had bulimia when I was growing up and I had um, an eating disorder. Now, what was that a cycle of? And I feel so vulnerable right now. <laughs> um, I've said it before, but I just felt super vulnerable by saying it. Um, so if you have an eating disorder out there like I did and still do, I don't act on it now because I recognized it as a repetitive pattern. We repeat patterns in life, whether it's a relationship, falling in love, getting in debt, overeating, um, getting in fights, uh, moving from job to job. We repeat patterns. A lot of the patterns that we're repeating, it's about reliving the past. And it doesn't mean that you have to go to somebody that's going to regress you into past lives. Because I believe that the being that created all of us, created us right here, right now, with everything that we need and everything that we will need to learn at our fingertips. I don't think you have to go back eons in order to find the advice or the letting go to move forward in today. All you need to do is understand why you're repeating a pattern. Generally, you're going to repeat a pattern because you've found it to be either one, you're not able to break the pattern, or number two, you've kind of set yourself at a comfort level where repeating the pattern is second nature. So if it's second nature, then like uh, smoking weed and I'm gonna sit on my sofa and I'm not gonna go get a job. Well, I'm generally craving a depressant and my body's craving a depressant because I'm anxious about the future. So that means I'm living in the past. So if I'm living in the past, I'm afraid of my future because my future is scary because it's unscripted, it is unknown. Um, so when it comes to this whole twin flame concept, uh, if you are in a situation right now that is cyclical and you're repeating it and um, you feel as if you're running on a treadmill and you're on that like Stairmaster loop and you're, you're just not getting anywhere but you're continuing to go forward, it's very tough. And here comes this little passing sports car that says twin flame on the, on the tail. And you're like, oh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 what is that? That's something new. That's something different. I need that. And then you're stuck here in this cycle of repetition, in this cycle of broken resolutions, right? So that twin flame becomes the catalyst to wake you up to say, I'm in the now. That is over there. But for you to get that twin flame, for you to get involved in that soulmate solution, guess what has to happen? You gotta learn to get out of the cycle. Because you don't wanna go into that grass is always greener and then get over there and realize you still have to water that grass too and you're bringing all the baggage. Because if you go to this new situation, even though it's your twin flame, if you bring all the old you with you, you haven't really solved much, you just added a new dynamic. 
So now in the twin flame dynamic is going to be somebody that's going to make you take a big wide look at yourself. And so not only are you bringing a whole bunch of yourself that you don't need, you're also looking at everything with a magnifying glass. I would encourage you to, number one, before you go off on a dark road, look at what you did this year that you enjoyed. What sparked um, a fancy for you this year? Like, and did you find anything peaceful? Did you find anything that motivated you? What passions did you have for the close of this year over this, this 2016? Because I don't want to go too far back because that's just a lot of things that don't necessarily have to do with right now. You already know if you feel unloved. You already know if you were abused as a child. You already know if you uh, didn't get a, the proper education. You already know if you, like myself, were bulimic for a certain amount of time. You already know these things. So let's address what I'm dealing with right now. Did I fail? Did I find myself stuck in a rut? Did bulimia rear its ugly head on me this year? No, it didn't because I've been able to get a handle on that idea by being more in tune with myself. The idea is for 2017, let's make a, a, a definition and a decision to discover what it is that we truly want to be. How do we see ourselves and what do we want out of life? I'm not saying do a five-year forecast of where you're gonna be uh, down the road. I'm saying, what do you want out of life? What are you passionate about? What is it that you need right now to feel that your life is on the right path? Love, um, do you need freedom? Do you want expression? What is it that you need? Let's look deep into that. Let 2017 come in with the, the revelry of renewal. And 2016 to be closed with the idea that it is done, it is gone, and those decisions can't be re-decided. We have to make the decisions currently. We have to be in the now. Many meditations whenever you can. Listen to your breathing like even one minute of a meditation is a minute you didn't have and it will add up in your day. Read the book for sure by Miguel Ruiz, The Four Agreements. I promise it's going to help you a lot. And fourth, look deep into the desire of your heart. What do you want? What do you need? Where do you see yourself? What is your drive? What is your drive? Let's dive into your drive. Let's go into overdrive for that. And then the fifth, find a place of silence. Get into a little place no matter where it is, for however long, an hour, two hours, preferably the whole day, unplug, just you. Listen to what your heart is saying. Listen to where you're at. Do a, 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 a inventory of what you want out of life and then change that wanting into a doing. Become the doer, not just someone that's sitting by, idly by, wanting something that never happens and never transpires. So for all of those things, I wanted to read you one thing by J.K. Rowling, which is the cornerstone of what I'm going to be facing and doing and addressing in 2017. It is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you failed by default. J.K. Rowling. That is an amazing quote. It's a quote we're going to close out with. Peace, light, and love. I will see you on the other side. Later.